Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Before we get started, I do feel like this is going to be a big message here. Uh, I have gotten the chills from head to toe. Whew, so I am feeling it. I don't know about you all, but I am. So do me a favor, hit that like button, put a comment in. I'd like to get this message out to as many of our fellow Taurus as possible, right? And it's the only way we can get it out there is by hitting that like button or putting a comment in. I do read each and every one. Wow, I am feeling this. Let me tell you. Ooh. Mm. Show me clearly. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for this reading, please? Show me clearly. Thank you. Pluto, of course. That would make total sense. Ah, I love spirit. So... Taurus, uh, we have trans transform, okay? Kind of looks like the death card in the standard tarot, right? Or not looks like, but is the death card. It is transformation. It is big, beautiful transformation. It is a regeneration of you right now. And as you may or may not know, most of you know this by now, we just had Pluto move into the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is innovation and truth. You are absolutely, I feel like, Almost angry, my loves. <laughs> Almost angry. Um, I say that with a smile because you know, you all know, we want to bring as much humor uh, and laughing into our lives as possible. But I think that I, I feel like you're dead serious this time. Like maybe, Taurus, you've wanted to transform, make changes before, but I feel like you are dead serious right now. You are like, I don't know. You're, you're, you're going to be unrecognizable to the people you know, the people that are in your lives. They are not understanding why you're setting all these boundaries. They may not understand why they cannot get your attention. So you're definitely releasing anybody who is a narcissist in your life, whether that is romantically a boss, what you thought was a friend. Like you are absolutely like, I just see somebody stomping their foot. In my mind's eye, I'm just stomping my foot. I'm not doing this anymore. I am not going to play by everybody else's rules anymore. I am going to be the biggest, best version of me. And you know what? That's okay. It's time for you to do that, Taurus. It's time for you to do that. We, it comes up in almost every reading. But I think, like, sometimes... We have to hear things over and over and over again to really get it to click in our heads or to really take on that energy. So I do feel like the divine is like giving you permission. <laughs> this sounds horrible. Please do not take this the wrong, wrong way and don't be a jerk to everybody. But it it's like the divine is giving you permission to be an asshole, <laughs> right? Like, no, I can't help you move. No. I can't make your food. I don't know. Whatever you're saying no to. I just feel like you're really putting up some very strong boundaries and definitely being like, I am not putting in to anything where I don't get equal back, right? Whew, God, my Lord, I'm just, I don't know. You know, I kind of hate to say it. I mean, I'm a Taurus sun and Venus and we always... Uh, we are so nurturing and so caring. It's kind of weird for us to say no, right? But it's time. It's like really time to make that transformation. Does it mean that you will never nurture and care for anybody again? No, it means that you are going to nurture and care for yourself first. And then you will only give that to the deserving people in your life. And I'm not surprised. This Listen, it's a timeless message, Taurus, but I am channeling this prior to eclipse season we're just about to go into eclipse season so i am just not surprised i am not at all so let's see what we have in the tarot yeah a lot of you are going to i just feel like and you gotta let me know in the comments i feel like you're initiating it so if there was to be and we're just going to use this as an example it isn't for everybody not everybody is going to have a romantic breakup okay but if you were to you would be the one doing it Right? You're like, no, I'm, we got, sorry, we got to go our separate ways. Like you're initiating it, which is good. Whereas I think before you might have let others 
or you would have sat quiet and, and waited it out, right, for somebody to leave your life. Now you're like, nope. Sorry, got to cut you out. All right, let's see. Whew. Strong energy, my goodness. Show me clearly. What is the message, please? Angels, guides, ancestors. Thank you. All right. Whoa. Okay. So we're going to start here, okay, with the emperor, because that makes perfect sense, right, of everything that I have been saying right now, which is that, that authoritative figure. You are stepping into that emperor energy in a big way. I very rarely in readings feel like the emperor is, you know, like, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't, it, a lot of people would think authoritative figure or rigid or yeah, maybe asshole, maybe an asshole, maybe, right? Think people would think the emperor kind of like that, that Aries energy. But I don't feel like that. I feel like it's it's you, right? It's it's you. I don't know how to explain that, guys. I know I'm very, very rarely without words. I don't feel like this is like you being that rigid kind of I don't know. It's yes and no, okay? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. Sometimes it's harder to get. Because um, they're showing me both. They're showing me you as being, you know, cutting things out. Things that don't work. The emperor doesn't play around. If it doesn't work, he's done, right? Because it's not beneficial to him or his empire. Thank you. Finally, they got me to go there. You are creating your own new empire. And you're not going to take in any weak links. Okay? Okay? You're not. You're done with that. Okay? You're done taking weak links into your life. Okay? Um, a friend of mine says this, like, would you go to war with these people? The people you surround yourself, would you go to war with them? Will they have your back? Okay? And I think you're redefining that in <clears throat> your life, in all areas of your life, whether that is romance or whether it is friendships or whether it's your circle uh, of work people, you're just no weak links. Okay? I'm sorry it took me so long to get there. And you really are done because we have the Ten of Swords here. Done. Right? I am done. Ten. No more. I'm not going to get stabbed in the back. I'm not going to get used. I am not going to put into anything where I don't get something back out of it. Now, we are always told the opposite, right? You should do things and not expect anything. You've done that for way too long, Taurus. Okay? And you're just not doing it anymore. Okay? So we love to see this Ten of Swords. This is, you know, I love the Ten of Swords because it tells you something's over. Something is over. Show me clearly, please. What is the message here? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. The Justice card. I am loving this Justice card. This is exactly what I was talking about. You're only putting into things where you are evenly given back. Okay, you're just, at, and whatever this is going on in your life where you have felt like you, I don't want to say victim because we never want to feel like victims, right? But where you have felt like you've been crossed in some way, taken advantage of, maybe you are in a legal situation and, you know, nothing's happened with that. It's all going to turn out good, okay? It's going to turn out really good because there's no hiding from this sword of truth, Okay. So definitely the universe knows and the universe is like, you step up and do your part and we will do our part. Okay. Beautiful. Show me clearly. Whew. Gosh, I am just, the energy is very, very strong. Very strong. And I mean like strength, mental strength, physical strength, like no. <laughs> love it show me clearly thank you all right so we have the seeker and that couldn't be any better right here okay that's the fool i'm seeking truth i'm taking a new journey i'm choosing a new life path i'm seeing things differently with the hanged man right 
Look at all the major arcana. Four out of our six cards are major arcana. Um, well, out of our five, we're going to pull another one. But, I mean, do you feel this energy? This puts you at some sort of peace, too. by Because it's like... <clears throat> It, it is. It's It's like, this is going to put me at peace because I am now putting in these boundaries. I'm seeing things for what they are uh, and people for what they are. I'm taking a new journey. I'm seeking nothing but truth. I'm seeking nothing but balance. Nobody's going to stop me with this, right? This is you being rebellious, revolutionizing your own life because you know that you have the best uh, morals, you have the best ideas, you have the best intuition, you are trusting in yourself, you are not relying on anybody else. And that may come off as cold, guys. It might come off as cold to other people. But here's the thing. You don't care anymore. You used to care. Well, what if, you know, oh, well, what if that hurts this person? And what if this person doesn't like that? Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Okay, I'm going to use it. Sorry to all my vegans out there and uh, um, vegetarians, but it's like you're making dinner for everybody and you make steak and people are like, oh, but I don't like steak. Well, that's what we got, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's a weird analogy, but okay. What else do we have? Oh, we're not taking all those. That's too many. Can I just have one or two, please? One or two, please. <laughs> yeah, you're not taking it anymore, okay? You are not taking it anymore. Queen of Keys, my no bullshit card. Not taking it anymore. Out with the King of Cups, which I really love there because it's like I got my emotions straight. I'm not going to let people manipulate me through emotions like I tend to do as a Taurus. It's okay. Call yourself out. I'll call myself out. Okay, it's, it, we're just not doing it anymore, Taurus. We're not doing it anymore. We got our emotions under control. Our mind is under control. No more BS. Like, done. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> right? Show us clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Holy shit, Taurus. You know what it is, too? And you guys know this, and I'm going to say it because Spirit's telling me to say it. You know, you can push and push and push and push a Taurus. And a Taurus will take it and take it and take it until you cross that line. And then the flaming nostrils of that bull comes out. So it's kind of like you're there, but you don't have to be pushed anymore. Like you've been pushed your whole life and now is the turning point. So I don't need to be pushed anymore. Now I am turning into that fierce bull. People are going to fear me and I'm okay with that, right? <laughs> And I don't truly mean people are going to fear you. But what I do mean is you're not going to be back down into a corner anymore. It's like, it's like you went from a baby calf to the full-blown bull. And nobody messes with that bull. Right? Oh, I love it. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus? And I think it's more important now than ever for us to do this, to stand our ground, to make the changes, to transform. I'm telling you, whatever that takes for you, whether that is uh, physically you need to make changes, mentally making changes, job changes, like a whole bunch of change, right? A whole bunch of change. You, I swear to God, Taurus, you are not going to recognize your life. You're, you're just not. Don't get down on yourself. That first part that we have been living through, we had to learn to grow to get to this point. And look at this. You can't make it up. North Node, Destiny, Purpose, Activation. North Node, baby. North Node is the direction we're supposed to go in life. That is the life path we need to be on. And for those of you, I will attach them again. Some of you have already watched them. They're from my other channel, Los Spirit Tarot. I will attach the North Node readings. You might, if you are a Taurus North Node, holy shit, look out, right? I am a Capricorn North Node, Taurus Sun, Capricorn North Node. But I will attach that. Go watch it. Go watch it, okay? Dusty purpose action. You are not to be stepped on anymore. No more weak links. 
And with that being said, Taurus, all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.